Hey guys, I want to do a quick demonstration of this bin primer that I'm using on my kitchen cabinet. This is a shellac base primer. I have no idea what shellac base is. I'm not going to pretend I know, but all I know is this stuff is wicked, wicked stuff. So you're supposed to be able to paint very, very smooth surfaces without sanding. So in my case, I have stained cabinets, very smooth. I did sand these. Supposedly it's not necessary, but I did it anyway. Very, very high uh, stain blocking ability. Um, this stuff is just very, very intense to work with. It's like 70 bucks a gallon or something like that. So it's expensive, but super good stuff. I'm going to demonstrate what it's like to paint one of these cabinet doors with this stuff. It dries almost instantly. It's ridiculously fast drying um, which makes it really difficult to work with so what I'm doing here on these cabinets um, is I've got some grooves in my cabinets and that makes it difficult because I'm going for an entirely uh, foam roller finish I don't want any of the brush marks so this is the roller that I have, high density foam that's made for doors and cabinets. Um, now with how fast drying this stuff is, you're going to have to brush and come along with your roller very, very quickly if you want to get rid of all those brush uh, marks, which I have no choice but to brush in these grooves. There's no other way to get that but you need to come along really quickly with your foam roller to get rid of any of those brush marks. Um, and you can just tell when you put this stuff on just how the adhesion on it, like it just, just immediately sticks unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, so basically what I've been doing just a little bit at a time, around the door so that you can get rid of those brush marks. I mean, it just, you only have a few minutes to work with this until um, those, those brush marks are not going to be uh, removable or you won't be able to roll out the brush marks with your foam roller. So again, I'm going for this foam finish all the way around. I'll take it on the edges here, but I'll just do this all the way around the door, um, you know, brushing it and coming along very, very quickly with that roller. Now I'm using a very cheap, almost disposable type brush. Um, and the reason for that is I'm really not worried about, I, I mean, none of these brush marks are going to be seen. I'm only using it to get in the grooves. And I really just didn't want to clean out a brush with this primer. Um, you're supposed to use denatured alcohol for the cleanup, um, which I could do. Obviously it's just, for me, it's more bother than it's worth trying to clean up uh, with a primer like this, especially being I don't need a good brush. It's not the roller, the brush marks that is, are not going to be seen in any way. So I'm just rolling all those brush marks out before you can, before they dry on me. Go ahead and flip this around so I can get to the other side.
Now that was kind of borderline. I did a good bit there without coming along with my roller. It was a little risky. I did a little bit too much, but I think it's going to work out just fine. Let's try to get. Yep, there we go. So that is one door done. Um, all my brush marks are gone, but again, to do it like that, you're gonna have to work very quickly. This is the way that I laid out my doors to brush and roll them. Um, I wanted to be able to access all the edges and I don't like to have the doors standing up against a wall or something. Uh, this way, it'll keep from running at all and you'll be able to get around to all your edges you won't be setting a painted edge down onto the floor on a piece of cardboard or whatever and then all my drawers i have taped um all the way around the face so yeah again this uh i highly recommend this bin primer it's just um you kind of have to learn how to work with it. It's a little difficult to work with, but you can tell the adhesion on this stuff is just amazing. And I am a big fan of this primer. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, if you're just trying to figure out what bin primer is all about, check out my channel. I'm in the midst of a crazy adventure in Detroit, flipping a house, check it out.